guys, it is getting very, very cold here in Baguio City right now. I think I am going to need a jacket. Wait. Here we go. Alright guys, now that I have my jacket on, I am all warm and toasty. Let's start the tutorials. Roll the intro. and here and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add snow or rain to your images so um, a while ago it was feeling pretty cold here in Baguio City so for those of you who don't know I live here in Baguio City which is like a mountain city located here in the Philippines so it is pretty cold since well it's not really that cold it's relatively cold as compared to the other provinces of the Philippines uh, especially those provinces located near the beaches um, because Baguio City is a mountain city located 1650 meters above sea level so the difference in altitude there's like that's what makes it colder here I, I don't know the science behind that I'm going to research that later after I teach you guys this and explain it to you guys later why higher altitude places are colder than the lowland places anyways uh, going back to the topic so yeah it's pretty cold here and that's what gave me the idea to teach you guys how to put snow in your images so last time I taught you guys how to create fog not not really create fog that that would be super cool if you guys could create fog out of nowhere like <sighs> fog come out I don't know what kind of superpower would creating fog do like I am fog man I create fog out of nowhere make your driving slightly difficult than it already is that's, that's, that's like the lamest superpower anyways going back to topic guys so last time I taught you guys how to add fog to your images not create fog that would be super cool getting back to topic guys I got lost in my imagination again okay so we are going to add snow to your images almost said create snow again because that would be a super cool power if you could create snow sorry guys I'm I'm a little bit out of the tutorial game today I'll try to focus for you guys because it's already late it's like 9.43 way past my, my bedtime okay so to create snow okay to add snow to your images dang it Liam to add snow to your images you have to create a new layer click this thing and then all you have to do is edit fill fill it with the foreground color make sure your foreground color is black and boom it is black filter noise add noise okay so what I do is I think 25% noise is fine I always choose Gaussian and make sure it's this monochromatic toggle thing is clicked check okay alright so we are going to do this super fast guys before I start imagining more superpowers okay so this is the super fast way click on the rectangular marquee tool okay so you could click here or you could just you know click M like M rectangular marquee tool choose a tiny tiny portion like so like like a tenth of the whole or a hundredth I don't know my fractions guys just just look at the screen choose a tiny portion like so press ctrl J to copy that and then rename it to snow one because we will be making like two snows okay so we have snow one transform snow one control T so we're going to make a little that larger and now all you have to do is adjust the level so let's click out to apply that level to that snow one layer let's let's bring this first toggle down and bring the middle toggle closer to that one to expose the white dots now all you have to do is click on snow one click filter click blur click motion blur all right so I think the distance is pretty could make it like 100 and 107 all right and the, the angle let's just make it a little bit a little bit like like so 47 degrees I think 47 degrees is fine click OK wait for it to load and then this is the most crucial part guys here in the layers tab and the layer blending mode you have to change the blending mode from normal to screen like so and what that does is basically 
makes all the black parts of the image invisible. So from normal, turn it into screen so all the black parts turn invisible. And there you go, you have slight snow happening in your image. Okay, so it looks a little bit unnatural because there's just like a few droplets of snow. What we are going to do is we are going to uninvisibilize the layer 1 we created. Uninvisibilize and let's make snow 1 invisible. Okay, so we are going to choose a slightly larger area than snow 1. Marquee tool, click that. Click Ctrl J to copy that. And then we are going to rename this layer snow 2. Snow 2. Okay, there we go. Now what we have to do is just repeat what we did with snow 1. Let's transform that, make it slightly larger, press enter, and boom! Now, let's adjust the levels again. This is gonna be super quick guys, so I'm not sure if this is gonna turn out real nice or real crappy. Oh man, you know what this reminds me dude? Does any of you guys watch Stranger Things? Do you know those floaty dandruffy things that's like floating all over the upside down? I wonder what those are. So for those of you guys who know what those floaty dandruffy things are, just comment down below. I'm, I'm just curious, you know. So going back to the dandruff editing, I mean snow editing. Okay, so now that we have that, we are just going to repeat what we did a while ago. Press filter, press blur, motion blur, and let's just repeat. Oh no. Okay, so make sure that you are on the snow layer so that the filter actually works. Such a genius, Leon. Alright, motion blur. Okay, so we're going to make the distance around, uh, let's say 51 or 62. Okay, I think 62 is fine. Click OK and wait for it to load. And there we go. We have snow. Let's just adjust the levels. Just in case you're not happy with the amount of snow, just adjust the levels and it's going to reveal more snow. And then click on the snow layer change the blending mode to screen and then boom there you go it's looking it's looking pretty good now so what we have to do is uninvisibilize snow one there we go so there's no snow there's snow and then to make it a little bit more realistic let's erase part of snow 2 so snow 2 is uh, supposed to be the snow on the background and then snow 1 is supposed to be your foreground snow so that's why snow 1 is uh, a lot larger than snow 2 see so that's the snow that is close to the camera and then snow 2 is the snow that is like further away from the camera that's why this the snow droplets or the, the snow streaks I don't know what to call that because we don't have snow here in the Philippines you know the, the, the snow droplets so yeah you, you, you guys get the point okay so we'll just erase part of the snow 2 so since it is in the background, I am probably covering some of the snow. So let's erase the part of the snow too that is um, being blocked by my body. There we go. Let's erase some in my butt. And then some, some here. Okay. Let's create a new folder. And then let's put all of those guys into that folder. There you go. Double click it to rename it to snow. Alright. So there you go guys. That is an easy quick way how to add snow. Rain. You, you could call it rain. It looks like rain. Or dandruff to your images. So this is what it looks like with the snow. What it looks like without the snow. Alright. So let's remove the fog so that we could clearly see the snow. Alright. What it looks like without the snow. And boom with the snow. Alright guys, that's my video. Hope you guys learned something today. As I promised, I, I will teach you guys how to make snow. So maybe next time, I will teach you guys how to make those floating island things right there. Anyways, that was my video guys. I hope you guys are progressing with your Photoshop um, skills and you know making your own images. Because at the end of this all, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be super pro with the Photoshops. Because anything that you put your heart into, you are really going to excel in that. And especially when you're enjoying... You know, it really doesn't matter if you kind of suck at it at first. Everybody goes through that phase. Um, if I could only show you guys the images I made when I was new in Photoshop, it just, it's, it's, it's not really worth showing. So 
good thing I didn't save those in any hard drive or something. Anyways, guys, that is my video. I hope you guys liked it and found it a little bit educational. Please like, leave a comment, and uh, share this video to people you love or something. Just share it for the sake of sharing, guys. I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace!